here it goes. All right, nuclear strike is inbound. I wonder how bright this is gonna be. Oh! All right, have you ever seen Bob so happy holding a sledgehammer dressed in full SWAT gear? Now you're probably questioning, well, how did you get this stuff, Komodo? Well, folks, we're back checking out mods here in Brick Rigs, and these are in 1.6, which is in experimental. I'll have the mod creator linked down in the description. We're checking out the Combat Extended mod, which adds all sorts of neat weapons and gear. And as you saw from the intro, we have an airstrike mod, and we're going to be bombing everything today. So yeah, uh, these are really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and start off by maybe breaking into the actually I should probably take the helmet off it's limiting my visibility there we go we got that so yeah this is the uh, the crusty crab by humanoid uh, this is a cool creation we used it before I, I want to break into it real quick with this sledgehammer this is so freaking awesome so yeah this is in the uh, combat extended mod um, okay cannot break metal down but we can uh, shred wood uh, I wonder if we can make this like crusty crab completely uh, unstable make it fall down I don't know if that's a thing or not uh, this is kind of satisfying just like whacking stuff here uh, hold on we need to whack a vehicle so here's this lovely Porsche uh, by Alec I think I'm saying that right it's a GT4 RS uh, don't worry we're gonna legit use this thing in a future episode I got another like vehicle episode planned out but this is one of the most uh, detailed ones on the workshop right now we can go up oh. <laughs> could smash its windows oh my goodness just being able to hit it with the hammer here this actually kind of hurts my soul because uh the porsche it's just such a lovely vehicle and i want one in real life but i do not want to spend that much money on a car uh maybe if i hit the lottery one day wait do you think it still drives hold on let's test it out <laughs> i mean it's still driving fairly well. Uh, you might have to knock about, I don't know, $50,000, $75,000 off the price right now. Uh, so I think I might have broken the steering. Wait, it's totally not turning anymore. I broke something. Oh, this is fine. We'll just go off full speed into this mountain ahead of us. Wee! Oh my goodness, why did that lag so much? Wow, that's made of a lot more pieces than I thought it was. Um, also, is the sledgehammer sticking out of my butt? This vehicle is sweet. I want to use this more, uh, so we'll be doing that. But first, we got to keep checking this mod out. So as you can see on the right side, uh, it's added a ton of equipment. And I'm actually kind of curious. I need to get into a multiplayer session with somebody and test how like effective certain things are, like the helmet. Uh, you can see all the airstrikes. Uh, we have some new stuff here. You got the flashlight that we used in the FNAF mod. There is the taser. Uh, we have a ballistic shield, a C4 detonator. Uh, I actually kind of want to grab that. Oh, I need to get some C4, which I think it's towards the bottom. Here we go, C4. Uh, maybe we could C4 this thing real quick. All right, so let's grab this out. Oh, this is something I've wanted in Brick Ricks for a while. I always thought having C4 would be awesome. Okay, does that is it sticky? I don't think it's sticky. Hold on, how many of these can I toss in here? <laughs> chunk one up there. Uh, maybe chunk one on this pillar. We're going to do a control demo. Oh, and if I'm up against it, does it stick it to it? No, it just seems like a loose item. All right, so let's go ahead and step back here. Uh, oh, how strong is C4? I'm not really sure. Here we go. Click. Oh! I think I got hit by debris. That was impressive. Uh, do you think my uh, tactical SWAT vest might have saved me here? Uh, there's a chance. Um, that was super satisfying. Now I totally want to get a skyscraper out and fill it up with C4. I think that'd be pretty awesome. So yeah, everything is multiplayer compatible. Uh, I think hopefully me and the guys will be able to do an episode using some of this. But yeah, you can see there's new sites. You have like reflex sites, uh, different barrel barrel types. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, the BR-15 here. Uh, we'll put a reflex sight with a laser on it. Uh, let's do the heavy barrel attachment. Oh, look, we can actually do a muzzle. That's pretty cool. And yeah, if I scroll down, you can see some flares and stuff. I know some of these are just default to 1.6. I think some is camo might be. Uh, also, there is totally a shirt for Bob. Uh, let's check this gun out. Dude, this reflex sight is actually pretty sweet. Uh, you can see the laser. It's a little offset from the actual red dot. Uh, so yeah, this adds a laser sight. Also, the man, this thing's pretty devastating. Like, it is tearing apart uh, this Porsche. Also, this Porsche is pretty laggy. It is a very complex creation. Uh, but like I said, we'll, uh, we'll use more of that later. Let me go ahead and clear the map. Uh, we got some other stuff we need to check out here. All right, so here we are. We have the XFS tower. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a controlled demo here. So we're going to grab our C4. I would use the airstrike, which trust me, we're going to get plenty of that here in a minute. I, I want to see if the C4, I mean, it seemed really strong. Like, I believe this will work. 
Maybe we just set it in the base of the tower. Uh, so say this tower has been abandoned. Uh, Bricksville wants it down. We're going to go ahead and go in here and take care of it. Uh, so we'll grab our C4. Uh, this is made of some scalables. So I don't know how that's going to affect the destruction. Uh, we'll go C4 there. Let's just do C4 on all four corners and then maybe one in the middle. Uh, I think that should be enough to blow out the bottom floor. I know the stairwells are normally really strong. So uh, we'll do that. Let's stick maybe a couple in the middle here. And then maybe one over that side. All right, uh, oh, you know, one on the front door for good measure. We're ready to go. We probably want to stand back. Maybe I should get my, hold on, let me get my vest back on. By the way, I'm going to show you guys how to put this on. Uh, so you will move, uh, actually, this is a really cool vest. You'll move it over here in your uh, third special slot and you'll be holding it and you click it and then that's what puts it on your body. There is some unequipped buttons that you would have to do. It doesn't work like clothes, like you can't just rip them off. I know that sounds kind of weird, uh, but yeah, uh, that is the thing. All right, we got our C4 detonator. It's going back up. Uh, Bob is ready with his tactical vest. Also, I would say the vests look really good on the characters. It does kind of go into the arm a little bit, uh, but when you're holding weapons and stuff, it looks awesome. Like, I really wish the default game had these. All right, so here we go. Uh, controlled demolition of the XFS towers. We're talking about uh, probably about 4,000 plus bricks. Here we go. What? Wait, what? Wait, my brain is confused. Did did all my... Uh, okay. I don't feel like all my C4 went off. <laughs> We're going to repeat this process here. Let's just maybe put all of it in the middle. I mean, we could just call in an airstrike. I, I must tell you, the airstrikes, I've been testing them out a little bit. They are so impressive and they're so fun to use. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and step back here. Okay, try it again. Okay. Why do I feel like this tower... It's not in God mode, is it? No, because a piece of it's actually broken off on the other side. All right, well, you guys saw that the, uh, maybe it's the scalables. You saw how well it worked with the Krusty Krab. I know one thing this thing's not going to get by. How about we call in, we're going to save the nuke. Uh, let's go with an A-10 uh, airstrike. Oh, I hope it has the legendary sound. I haven't tested this one out yet. All right, so we'll call it in when we're ready. Close air support request confirmed. Okay. Air support has been requested. Location. You should be able to hear it coming. Oh, well, listen close. I hear it coming. Which direction is it coming from? Uh, wait to see it. I don't. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it goes. Uh, it lit up the whole backside of the tower. Oh my goodness. So that one made more of a run. It's not like a concentrated bomb. It used its, I think it's its Gatlin gun and maybe some rockets. Uh, it came actually from that direction. I want to call another one in. But it actually started to light up the ground in front of it, and then it lit up into the, the tower. Took down half of it. Super, super impressive. All right, it's telling me to wait. They think it'll give me the all clear when we're ready for another strike here. Uh, I guess they're going to fuel up and uh, get some more ammo. Okay, we got another uh, strike ready to go. Let's go ahead and call it in. That's going to be pretty close. Let's back up. I wonder if it's going to come from the same direction. We'll get a better look at uh, the actual A-10. Oh, here comes the train through the debris. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I hope you guys are wanting a classic destruction episode here in Brick Riggs. This is what you're getting here today. I can hear it on. Oh, is it coming from the same direction or is it... Might be coming from a different direction. It sounds close. Uh, oh, yeah, it came from there. There it is. It clipped the tower and there goes the A-10. Uh, yeah, it came from a little different direction that time. It might be where you actually point the airstrike. Um, there's not much left of this tower. Oh, we got to do this with several other things. Like, I want to get out a, like, cruise ship. So, yeah, we'll probably use it on it. All right, so we have a uh, carpet bomb here. I probably shouldn't be in the area when this goes off. All right, set that Market off. Confirmed. Uh, I'm going to take off running because I don't know where it's coming from. It's a carpet bomb, so it's going to be... Oh, my goodness. That one showed up a lot quicker. Holy man. Uh-oh. Wait for it. I don't see any bombs yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are the bombs? Oh, okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's a much wider area, a little less concentrated than the A-10 was. Uh, not as devastating as I pictured it being. Okay, so I have an airstrike that is, I believe it's kind of like a cruise missile. Uh, let's go ahead and send this one in. I hear it. Where is it at? Uh-oh. Which direction? Oh, I saw it there. Oh, my goodness. Well, that might have been the most satisfying one yet. That completely decimated that. Okay, so we can pretend that this checkpoint here is... We'll call it the Desert Worms checkpoint. It's a military target we need to take out. Uh, let's go ahead and test this out. 
So napalm should be fire in theory. So let's go ahead and go boom. Um, I'm assuming it's going to act like the carpet bomb, except for stay <laughs> lit up for a little bit longer. Yeah, it's so weird. Like if you were to use some of these in like the battle modes, uh, I don't know if you can or can't. Oh, I hear it coming. I'll wait for it to light up. Uh, but yeah, these will be fun when you're doing like the conquest style game modes. Oh, there goes the plane. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was actually kind of cool looking. Uh, it was a different style of jet. And oh, wow. It just focused fire in one area. Hold on. Let's get close here. So does it slowly eat away? Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Dude, that's actually rather impressive. I actually didn't do a whole lot of like damage as far as falling apart, but it definitely made the uh, the checkpoint rather crispy. Here, let's call in another airstrike on the gate itself, and let's see if we can hit it. Uh, it's going to be a big missile coming in. I'm trying to see if I can see which direction this one's coming from. Maybe it's coming from your... Oh, my goodness. Oh, you caught a glimpse of it. Okay, that one's a little bit more effective at like destroying creations. Also, I think Bob was uh, Bob was a little too close to that one. That's so awesome. All right, so we have the nuclear uh, bomb. We've always spawned in nukes in brick rigs. Uh, they've always been really kind of fun to use. You know, me and the boys we've done some like bunker stuff where we sat in the bunkers, uh, see if we could survive. Um, yeah, I, I haven't set this one off yet. This is the one that I haven't played with because I wanted to save it for the video. Uh, I'm just gonna drop it here. Now I am becoming uh, death. Am I am I closer? Oh, buddy, hold on, wait for it. Oh, there it is. Why do I feel like I should back up? Hold on, let's back up a little bit. All right, there it is. There's a plane coming. Uh, we got a nuclear strike coming. Oh, here it goes. All right, nuclear strike is inbound. Oh, you can see it drop in there. Um, I wonder how bright this is gonna be. Uh, oh my! Wow. That was impressive. Holy man, I'm trying to back up to see where the strike is. Wow! Wait, okay, so I'm assuming it took out Bricksville, but did it do anything to the outskirts? Okay, so, oh, jeez. I actually feel like uh, I've played with a couple uh, nukes that are actual creations in the game that have been pretty similar to that. The, the effect was impressive. Um, well, if you bought property on this side of Bricksville, you are completely good. Um, I actually want to see what kind of effect it has on a creation itself. So let's head out to the water. All right, so we're going to be checking out the MS Anthem. This is by Banana Man 27. So we made a mistake the other day. And you know, when we make a mistake, we're going to own up to it. Me and OB spawned this into an episode. And we spawned in a re uploaded version. Also, I might have, should have not spawned it up here. But yeah, this is the actual. Uh, creation and creator. Uh, so we're gonna sit out in the water real quick. It is already laggy. Oh man, this might not be a good idea. Hold on, let's just observe it real quick. Just get a good eye on it. I know a lot of you guys saw uh, something very similar in an episode uh, several days ago, but yeah, it's just so impressive like what the community is able to create here and what Komodo is able to destroy. But yeah, this is a massive cruise ship. You can walk around on it. Once it settles, it's actually not that laggy. Uh, me and OB were actually able to spawn this thing in in multiplayer. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing it in public servers, but if you have a private server and you're, you know, doing a little ocean roleplay, well, you know what? You might as well spawn this thing in. Uh, do we think that a missile can take this down? I might need to get a separate ship. Uh, we're going to say that this ship needs to be decommissioned, and the way they're going to do it, they're going to test out some of the latest and greatest military tech. We should have a good view of this. The only thing I'm a little concerned about, there is a big canyon. I don't know if the missile is going to come from the other side and if it's going to hit it first. All right. Here we go. It is coming in. I hear it. Let's just keep eyes on the cruise ship. Oh, it went through the... Oh! Oh. Okay. Have you ever seen such devastation inside of Brick Rigs? That was, uh... That was impressive. Uh, also, it just completely unfolded that. But yeah, definitely uh, props to Banana Man 27. Uh, I do apologize for not getting the uh, the right creation, uh, but if you want to download it, it is the MS Anthem. All right, here comes the nuking, and then you know we're actually gonna get a uh, a bunker, and I'm curious if like a bunker style creation has a chance against like a nuke. Oh, I don't see the play. Oh, there it is. Oh, it looked low that time. Oh. Oh, no. Is it going to hit the land, or is it going to hit the... Oh, it might be directly on the ship, and... Oh, my goodness. Um, well, you can kind of somewhat see through it, and jeez, that is... <laughs> that's ridiculous. And you know what? Like, what else do you think we're going to see here in Brick Rigs? We already have ridiculous mods like airstrikes, 
uh, FNAF, you got different weapons, which the weapons are really, really awesome. I feel like for the people that do a lot of combat and multiplayer, uh, it would be fun to maybe get some of these in here. That was, uh, that was something there. You know, it actually flipped my boat over. The boat didn't explode, though. Nice. So when I think about bunkers, I think about the creation that we've used probably the most. The GTMV Universal Bunker by Grouchy. This thing is like an OG creation. Uh, you've probably seen it featured in many episodes, probably episodes where we've uh, survived natural disasters and nukes. So uh, yeah, we got this thing. It's going to be hopefully rather impressive. I mean, I don't think it's going to survive, but I mean, it's pretty thick. Like, maybe it would actually withstand the napalm. Should I put a vest on? Maybe I should put a vest on. Okay, actuate that this way. So, I'm thinking we just set... Should we activate the... Oh, that is like a extinguisher, I think. Um, no, this is fine. I, I think we should probably just set... Actually, no, I don't think I can set in the seat. All right, well, we're going to set inside of this bunker and see if it can withstand a nuclear blast. You know, I don't wonder if the impact of the actual bomb itself hitting the top of the bunker might crush it. Uh, we're about to see. So, comment down below. Do you think we're going to make it through this? Um, it's going to be a little offset, I think. Maybe. Oh, no, that's going to be right on it. Oh, no. All right, here it goes. And... <laughs> Wait, did it... No, it definitely didn't. You know, maybe that was just a bit too much for it. Also, look at the uh, blast radius. That's rather impressive. Did it... Uh... <laughs> Did it hold up at all? <laughs> I think I saw that we were flattened. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yep, it's definitely a little smoky in here, huh? And let's, uh, let's take a look. Um, can't really... Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think the bunker held up. Hey, but the John Brick sign held up great. Um, definitely kudos to the sign. Uh... Yeah, Bob, Bob definitely didn't make it. Okay, we're going to call one more in. Uh, we're going to say we need to deconstruct uh, Bricksville here just to see. Like, are we? I think we're far enough away. I'd actually like to just see the blast. So let's get back here. It's so epic seeing the uh, the planes fly over. Uh, really awesome. All right, here it goes. And... Oh. Wait for it. It's going to happen. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. See so yeah, how the effect? Once you get back, it's actually a really a neat looking effect here. Uh, I've never seen such an advanced explosion in brick rigs. Also, did, are we good? Yeah, we're good. We we uh we stood back here. No, it's perfectly fine. A uh, little bright on screen right now, but yeah, it's just a, a sneak peek at some of the new things coming to brick rigs, including, like you said, you got some pretty cool little mods coming. Uh, so we'll probably try out some of these in multiplayer, and we'll see you guys next time.